the women's cross country event underway for 1996. 77 starters from 34 nations. And let's not forget, this was an Olympic event for the first time this year. The people to look out for, Alison Seidor from Canada, Maria Paolo Turcotto from Italy, and of course, from the United States, Ruthie Mathis. And the field sadly lacking Olympic champion, Paola Pezzo, who elected not to come here to this world championship race. And Nardina Negri, Paolo's compatriot, leads the field up the hill, closely followed by Alison Seidor. Uh, 53 is Annabella Straparo, and De Negri has gone into an early lead, but Seidel certainly not about to let her get away. Uh, she's chasing her down. De Negri first over the top of the hill. This is a going around the Ghost Gum corner. Natalie Fiat, the French rider. And here we see Seidel. She's past De Negri on the descent, and she's going into the treacherous rock slide, which is close to the bottom of the course. Here we go. De Negri coming in behind her. Ruth and Matthews in third place. And here we have Sidor coming in to complete the first lap, throwing away the bottle, getting ready to take another one. And Matthews has caught De Negri, and we've got a race on to second place. And Gunnery the Dial, quite a long way behind the leaders at this stage, has problems with her chain on the first climb. Hot favourite, it looks like she won't be a contender in this race. And Maria Paola Tokuto coming back, fighting a rear guard action. She'll be trying to join the leader. She's showed very good late, late season form. While Alison Sidor is forging a commanding lead here. Right now, it's a very dangerous position for Sidor to be in at this stage of the race. Um, and we can see Paola Tokuto waving Ruthie Matthews past to help her with the work. But honestly, I don't see them catching Sidor. And Ruthie Matthews now pursued by two Italian riders, um, De Negri and Paolo Tocuto. And switching back to Sidor, who seems to be increasing in her lead as the race progresses. Now, the downhill section of the course is very important for a rider like Ruthie Matthews, who has excellent descending skills. And as we can see, the excellent descending skills are needed on this course. The repercussions of the crash can be quite serious. Cost not only time, but of course, the riders run the risk of injuring themselves also. Will she? Won't she? Will she? Won't she? And Mar Regina Marunda, the German rider, goes to Hound on the rock slide. Here comes Alison Sidor. Safe as houses, showing how the rock slide should be ridden. Protecting her lead, she's not likely to risk a crash at this stage of the race. And here we see 1991 world champion Ruthie Mathis has used her descending skills, superior descending skills, I should say, to escape from the two Italians. She doesn't have a big lead over Maria Paola Tocuto, however. Uh, I think we're going to see a fairly close finish to this race. Um, looks like Nardi de Negri has been pushed out of the medal positions, and we see Sidor complete her triumphant fourth lap, going down through the Jacob Vada section, a steep switchback section where it's so easy for her to come to group and she's not very careful through here. She could so easily throw away the gold medal, which at this stage seems to be hers. She has a lead right now of more than one and a half minutes, so she could probably risk a, she probably has a small crash. Uh, she certainly couldn't afford a puncture, however. She will need to be careful. And Ruthie Matthews follows her down at a distance to try and consolidate her second place. She's going to have a tough job though. This is the last opportunity in the race that she gets to increase her lead over the chasing uh, Maria Paola Tokuto. Into the last five kilometers of the race and Tokuto's got a job on her hands to catch Matthews. And we can see Sidor now getting fairly close to the finish. She's coming into earshot of the, of the uh, line commentator and she's acknowledging the crowd. It's a great performance from Alison Sidor, often been described as a thinking person cyclist, and this really has been a thoughtful performance. She has put a lot of preparation into this event. She's come to Cairns with excellent form and a tremendous win. Second place going to the American, Ruthie Mathis. She also put in a fine effort to take silver. A really demanding course, technically, physically, uh, really challenged the riders, and uh, 
Um, but, you know, I had a really good day. I knew that, uh, you know, on the climbs I was holding my own. And, uh, you know, I was always going to be able to make up a little bit of time uh, with my descending ability. So, uh, yeah, I was, I was really, uh, really excited. A wonderful way for Saito to end the season. This really has been a commanding performance over Ruthie Mathis and the Italian Calcuto.